Cooler Master sent me the Double M731. This is a wireless mouse. So if you're the type of person that doesn't like cables at all, this mouse might be for you. Now, this review is not sponsored and all of the things that I'm going to say are going to be honest. And I've been using this mouse since they sent it to me. So around July of this year, I've been using it for quite some time now. And I gotta say that I didn't have any issues with it. It has a really simple design and it's a small. Here you can see my hand next to it. And to be honest, this is something that I like for my type of usage. Now you can see it next to a phone. So yes, as you can tell, it's pretty small and lightweight. It's not heavy at all, so it's really portable if you're the type of person that travels a lot. This will help you out and trust me because I've been traveling a lot throughout this year and this has been a lifesaver. Now about the battery, you get up to 19 hours of battery via Bluetooth, which is really good, but to be honest, I like to keep it connected. And when it's wireless, you have a bit of delay or maybe delay is not the right answer but it doesn't feel as good as when you have it connected. So if you're going to game with this mouse, then I do recommend you connecting it with the cable. And if you don't like cables, then use the Bluetooth option when you are not gaming. I mean, you can try both when you're gaming and if it fits for you, that's perfect. I just wouldn't recommend the Bluetooth option for gaming, but maybe it doesn't make that big of a difference for you. It has a 19,000 dpi optical sensor and let me tell you that the max sensibility of this mouse is pretty fast. I usually use medium sensibility and it works really good for me. Like I said before, this is a super lightweight mouse and believe me, while gaming, this will help you out. On the back of the mouse, you have the three options. You can connect it via Wi-Fi, via Bluetooth and directly through the cable, which is the one that I recommend the most. If you're going to do gaming then you can also change the sensibility and on the side you have two extra bottoms which are really helpful for a gaming mouse now it's not the typical gaming mouse where you have like 20 different bottoms it's a really simple design like i said before so if you're searching for the flashiest mouse with a bunch of bottoms then this is not going to be for you but if you are the type of guy that likes simple then this might be a good option but what's the price right well, the price is 80 bucks for the white version on Amazon and 110 dollars for the black version, which is the one that I have on Amazon as well. You will have an affiliate link down below in the video description in case you want to buy it. And the price is decent to be a wireless mouse, but like I said before, if you're searching for the flashiest one, this is not for you. If you're searching for something simple, lightweight, that you can carry anywhere that you want, then I think that it's actually a really good option. Like I said, this review is being honest. I've been using this mouse for quite some time now, and it has been an amazing experience even when gaming with my laptop. And it also has 16.7 million RGB colors that you can change on the software and you will have the link to the software as well in the video description. Now I have to say that I'm more impressed by the keyboard which is the Cooler Master CK721. I absolutely love this keyboard and I have a full review about it. You will have it in the top right of the screen. I think that is more impressive when it comes to keyboards than the mouse comparing it to other gaming mice. But anyway, it's still a really good mouse and I'm extremely thankful for Cooler Master for sending me both the keyboard and the mouse. And one thing I forgot to mention is that on the software, you can change the macros, you have different profiles, the lighting, you have a bunch of things on the Cooler Master software, which is a really nice software, by the way, because it has plenty of options. If you enjoyed this short review, leave a like and subscribe, but most importantly, hit that bell button so you get notified when I upload this type of content. And in conclusion, this mouse is for the people that like simple design, something that's wireless and is going to perform really good for both gaming and browsing. And on top of that, you can carry it anywhere. So if you're traveling a lot, let me tell you, this mouse is for you. And if you want the best for gaming and you don't really care about simple aesthetics, then maybe this mouse won't be for you. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your support and I will see you on the next one.